up guys, I'm Ashley Jenkins and Battlefield 4 just can't seem to catch a break. In addition to connectivity issues over the weekend, the game has also been banned in China for endangering Chinese national security. The game never officially launched there, but was commonly imported by gamers, though the media there generally rejected the game for its portrayal of Chinese culture. A military editorial claims that video games are a new form of cultural warfare, saying, The use of video games to discredit one country's image in the eyes of other countries is a new form of cultural penetration and aggression. The editorial goes on to cite the shift of games culture from leaning on generic Russian enemies to increasingly focus on narratives of Asian aggression as being a result of China's increasing weight as an economic powerhouse. Author Gong Yu Kong explains, In recent years, with the boosting of China's national strength, China threat theories run rampant and foreign companies are increasingly keen to put the Sino-US conflict in their games as a gimmick to attract attention. Following the release of Battlefield 4's China Rising DLC, which the nation saw as salt in the wound of an already anti-Chinese campaign, the game has been labeled a cultural invasion and ordered all information about the game to be banned. The Chinese Ministry of Culture says Battlefield 4 is an illegal video game with content that endangers national security. It is an aggressive attack on our culture. After the ban of Battlefield 4, we demand that all items related to the game are to be deleted. Already, searching for the game on Weibo, a popular Chinese social media site, results in an error explaining that they cannot legally show any results. Even in the rest of the world where the game is perfectly legal, it continues to have problems, though a number of significant issues have been fixed through the updates for various platforms the developers have released over the last several weeks. Over the weekend, the game experienced severe connectivity issues, with a notice saying, we are continuing to monitor some intermittent connectivity issues affecting some players across various platforms. The notice has since been removed, indicating a return to normalcy, at least in that area, but several major issues remain. Of the top 22 bugs DICE identified as the main issues, they're still investigating disappearing crosshairs, rubber banding issues, missing hit effects and damage, delayed damage, frame rate drops, desynchronized game worlds that appear different for different players, and an Xbox 360 specific bug that's causing a significant number of crashes. Investigating means they're still trying to duplicate and establish the exact cause of these issues so they can determine what needs to be done to fix them. Earlier this month, on December 4th, EA announced that further work on Battlefield 4 content, including expansions and DLC, would be put on hold until the major issues were fixed. Next up, Joe Danger developer Hello Games has learned that their insurer will not be covering any of the damage done in the recent flood. The developer was flooded Christmas Eve when a river near the Guildford-based studio broke its banks and pretty much everything in the studio was destroyed, including computer equipment, monitors, and personal items. According to an update after speaking with their insurer, small print is, if you are in a flood risk zone, you are not insured for flooding. However, there is a possible silver lining. Microsoft Game Studios chief Phil Spencer says he's looking into possible aid for the developer who recently announced the promising space exploration No Man's Sky and has reached out to the studio. Finally, Microsoft has registered a trademark for Thrown Together as of December 19th, even though it only showed up on the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office list last night. Aside from the detail that the trademark is for game software, no other information is available for what the game might be. Microsoft has previously promised new IP to support the recently launched Xbox One, so it's likely this has something to do with that, but we'll keep you posted once more details are available. And that's the news today. What will Thrown Together be? Medieval fighting game? Royal reality show simulator? Let us know your theories in the comments below. Then check out roosterteeth.com for the newest episode of our gaming podcast, The Patch. And don't forget, we'll stream an episode for our sponsors on Wednesday afternoon.